Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video review. And today we are reviewing number 21 in the Black Series Phase 4, The Mandalorian Packaging, The Death Watch Mandalorian. The Mando that saves little Din Djarin, young, young, little, young little baby Mando, from the Super Battle Droids when he was a child. So small. This is one I've been looking forward to for quite a while. When they started doing other Mandos from the series, and of course other Mandos in general and Black series more heavily, I, it, it was only assured, pretty much assured at that point, that we were going to get this guy eventually, especially since he's such an integral part to Din Djarin's life. I mean, he's the reason he's a foundling. He's the one who picked him up and saved him and took him to his clan and you know made him a foundling, basically. So... Really cool. I hope we get to see more of this guy at some point. Really want want them to delve into Mando's backstory a little bit when he's a kid, maybe being trained by this guy a little bit, or you know, just something. Especially in the comics, you know, because that would that would probably be the easiest way to do it. Um, it would definitely be better than just doing a what is so far a panel for screen adaptation of the Mandalorian season one, which I thought is just so silly. I mean, it's still cool. The artwork's awesome, but I, I hope they use that as, as a opportunity to show us something we didn't see in the series. And so far we're two issues in as, as of right now, and that has not happened yet. So I, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully there's more to come because I was really excited about a self-titled The Mandalorian comic and I was not expecting just a print copy of the show. So, And that's all it is so far. And while it's good, because the show is great, it, it shouldn't be that. It should have been some other side stories of Mando that we didn't get with the series and so far that's not what it is. That's, that's just how I feel about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, here is the Death Watch Mando. He looks awesome. There's that side panel art. Some words and things on the back. Oh, I've been so excited for this figure. I've, I've really been looking forward to it. This, this is one I have been waiting for. And I'm sh sure this guy is going to be the main basis for the Axe Wolves figure we're going to be getting here pretty soon, too. So, eh. Eh, We're done with the box, anyway. And here he is. He looks awesome. Another, just another really awesome Mando figure to add to the ranks. I love, I love collecting Mandos. Love collecting Mandos. Oh, this is cool. I wonder, does that one have that? Oh, it doesn't. Does that one? Okay. Okay, kind of. I'm going to have to check and find out. We're going to have to see. And y'all are like, what is he talking about? What, what is he going on about? So there's some uh, holes on the bottom of his little thrusters there. I'm wondering... To myself, does the deluxe Boba Fett flame effects plug into the to the to that thruster effect as well? Because while the overall jetpack mold is similar to the Mandalorian Loyalist from the Clone Wars, which is another Death Watch or at least former Death Watch Mando, the jetpack mold is kind of similar. Actually, no, they're very different. Never mind. They, they're, they're very different. Um, they're similar at the top, but overall the molds are actually quite different. Um, it's still cool to see that uh, he might be able to have some flame effects in there. I, I really dig this armor setup. Um, he's, got, he's got the two stripes on his pauldron and on his uh, chest plate there. He's got the Death Watch symbol on his... Left shoulder, that classic Mando style helmet, very similar to Boba Fett's or Jango Fett's and or Jango Fett's. Um, 
articulated range finder, head is on a ball joint, and you got a neck on a ball joint as well. Fully articulated shoulder, the shoulder pads are individually pieced on there, so they have their own articulation, but full articulation on that. Um, single jointed elbows, wrist joints, and uh, there's a swivel joint right where the gauntlet is on the forearm, so you can rotate the gauntlet on the arm. Upper waist, hips, upper thigh, single jointed, oh, that's tight, single jointed knees, and the knee pads are also a separate joint, so those, those do rotate around the knee. Single, uh, not single jointed, but, well, yes, single jointed, but uh, ankle joints there. And there you go. That's pretty much it for articulation. He is a very, very articulated Mandalorian warrior. He's got a single holster there. You can untab the little strap there and put his Mandalorian blaster pistol. I like that they went with a uh, gunmetal gray color with a brown handle there. I, like, I do really like, like that color scheme. Of course, he can wield his blaster pistol, or you can just have it holstered. And then here is his carbine, which I like his carbine because it's very similar to the blaster that Boba has in Empire Strikes Back. It's got some, it's got some pretty cool similarities to that. Overall, overall, an awesome look and awesome, awesome, awesome Mando. For comparison, um, I already showed it a little bit, but here he is next to the Mando Loyalist from the Clone Wars. Here he is next to Bo Katan. So you can see all the all the bluesies together real quick. Well, not all of them. I didn't include Casca Reeves in this mostly because he probably didn't even serve with Bo Katan, at least not at the point of when Din got saved. And um, I I really doubt Casca was even around at that point. So there you go. But there is a good chance that these two served together at one point or another before Death Watch split up during the events of the Clone Wars. And I actually really like this uh, this clash of colors here, you know, because a lot of them we saw in Clone Wars had gray and blue, like this guy did. But then this guy's just more blue than gray, which is which is nice little variation. Plus his armor setup in comparison to the regular Mando warriors of Clone Wars is is very different. I mean, his he's got the rounded shoulders, he's got the the smaller chest. Um, doesn't have shin plates, doesn't, doesn't have uh, quite the same flamethrower. He's got very different gauntlets by comparison. One pistol versus two pistols, rifle versus no rifle. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good look. Also for comparison, here he is next to... the man himself. The Mandalorian. That just, yeah, they they look awesome side by side. Really like that a lot. And then, of course, um, now some of you might think this is terrifying, <laughs> but I I had to I had to create this. Uh, just um, I can't remember if it's which shoulder it's over. But I had to create this uh, just just for uh, just for this review, and um, like I said, it's it's quite it's quite horrible actually. <laughs> but um, we don't have a lot of kids in in the Black series yet. There's not a lot of not a lot of children figures, so all I had to work with here was the um, the Omega figure. And the removable helmet, the Mandalorian figure, and a little bit of head swapping. And I created this abomination. <laughs> it's, it's, 
so terrible. But uh, I had I had to do it just for when uh, you know when uh, when when Mando when young Mando gets uh, gets carried gets gets carried off to uh, carried off to safety. by the Mando warrior, you know, so <laughs> just it's, it's so terrible. I this will definitely be in uh be in the photos later. So make sure you're following us on Instagram cuz I'll definitely I'll definitely post a picture of this. I'll I'll do both. I'll do a front and back for you. Um but yeah, this is so awful. It's so it's so terrible that I love it. So <laughs> Um, I hope this does not, hope the image of this does not give you nightmares because that is the stuff of nightmares. Um, but I, I, you know, I, it's all I had to work with. So, you know, you, you work with what you got and, uh, some, sometimes that's all you've got. So anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning into this review today of the, uh, Death Watch Mandalorian warrior from the Mandalorian, the scene where he saves young Din Djarin. Um, can't wait for more Mando Warriors. I bring them on, Hasbro. Just keep on, just keep on cranking out the Mandos because I'll I'll buy every single every single different Mandalorian you guys do. I love ma collecting Mandalorians. Always have, and um, this this is one I've definitely been looking forward to. But what about you guys? Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the forums. What's what's a Mandalorian character or figure you're really looking forward to in Black Series? Like um, Shea Vizsla, for example. I would very much love a Shea Vizsla in Black Series at some point. It was cool getting her in 3 3 quarter scale. It was cool getting her again in 3 3 quarter scale with a whole new head sculpt. But I would love to see her in Black Series one day. Name one that you would like to see in the comments or the forums. Stay tuned for more RebelScum.com content. Stay tuned for more of our reviews. Make sure you're checking the website daily because there's something new posted every single day. Like and subscribe. Follow us on social media. Go to RebelScumShop.com for awesome swag and merch. And we'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum. <laughs>